everyone. So today we are going to be doing an update for Annalise Dockban, her helmet. She's been wearing it for three weeks now and we just wanted to come on here and share her story and our experience with torticollis and a flathead. Also, I wanted to mention that we I am not a doctor, I am not a physical therapist. I just know what I've researched and what I have learned with um, us experiencing this with her. Yeah, with that being said, also there is some construction work going on outside. And if you guys hear these loud noises, I'm so sorry. But yeah, let's get started. So if you guys haven't followed my journey since my pregnancy, I did go into preterm labor at 29 weeks pregnant and they were able to stop my contractions and my labor, thank God. But I was also put on bed rest for three months. Annalise's head was engaged and I was 90% effaced through my whole pre remaining of my pregnancy. And um, they said that her torticollis, which if you don't know what torticollis is, it's actually a neck st like stiffness, a twisted neck is also what they call it. And most children that are born like that or have this, they tilt their head. They think that Annalie might have just got this from her being in the same position for three months of my pregnancy since I wasn't really moving while I was on bed rest. They also think that she wasn't moving very well in the womb. Well, I would feel her move, but maybe didn't get out of the same position. That's what they mean. Okay, so torticollis. We found out ourselves actually that Annalie had torticollis. When we brought her home, my husband noticed that every single time he would put her in her crib, she would just look inside the crib. And she did this from very like newborn. And then as she started to see a little better, we just kept saying, why is she always looking to the left? She would always look to the left, never wanted to look to the right, even if we would put toys or anything she just wouldn't look to the right so me and my husband knew that that was not normal for a child obviously we've had Kayla but yeah she just started looking always to the left and she always wanted to put her head to the left on in her crib in car seat in the swing anywhere she was she just wanted to be with her head facing the left so then also when she started to sit up a little bit with us holding her we would talk to her and we would bring toys to her and play with her she started to tilt her head and what we mean is every time we would go to the right with a toy she would look instead of looking straight and turning like a full rotation she would just kind of tilt like that a child should be looking both ways and not preferring a, like to look one way and not tilting their head so at her second, no, at her three month visit, we brought it up to the pediatrician, like, listen, um, Annalise tilting her head and we don't know what it is. At that time, we had no idea. And he told us, yes, it's torticollis. She was probably born with it and good thing you catched it right on time because she's not. And he just gave us a referral to the physical therapist. So the next week, Annalise went to physical therapy where her physical therapist did say that she had not severe torticollis, she had a very moderate torticollis and so yeah, so she basically showed me some stretches that I had to do with her and I did those stretches for six times a day and I'm going to share with you the stretches right now. Okay, so when I do the stretches, if your baby is wearing a helmet, make sure you take it off, that way you get a better stretch. And Annalie is just stretching once a day. So this is the first stretch. And I want to say, please don't do this to your child if it's not necessary. Always consult a physical therapist before you do it. So the first stretch was just my hand over here. Then my other hand over here. And just basically stretching this muscle over here. So I would just go like this. And I would keep it, hold it there for like 30 seconds. And then I would do the same thing on the other side like this. Then the next um, stretch is for rotation. So I would basically just bring up a toy here because she gets really fussy if there's no toys here or any light stuff. So I would just bring her head to this side and I would put my other hand on this side. Put my finger like this to make sure she would keep a straight movement like of head and I would just hold there 30 seconds and I would do the same thing on the other side. 
So yeah, basically those were the stretches we did to fix her torticollis. So yeah, those stretches we did six times a day for a month and a half and they really helped her because we are so happy to say that Annalie has graduated physical therapy. She's going in two more weeks just for an evaluation and they just said as she grows that we have to at least do one stretch a day which that's no problem. When we take her helmet off, we just squeeze that stretch in there and everything's great. The reason why Annalie has her flat head could also have been caused in utero, but we also think that the torticollis had to do with it a little bit as well. We could not help it if she always faced this way, even if we would turn her head, like as she will fall asleep, I would turn her head to the other side because I didn't want her to get the flat head. But she just kept doing it and as she would sleep, she would just turn back to that side. So her stiff neck just kept getting in the way of her always wanting to face the other way. Then after we got referred to Cranial Technologies because her physical therapist said that if we wanted to look into getting the dog fan as well so it could work together with her torticollis. A lot of kids that have torticollis develop the flat head as well from always looking on one side and always preferring one side. Then we got a referral to the Cranial Technologies which are basically the professionals on the dog band, the helmet. The physical therapist said that the helmet does work hand in hand with the torticollis so I wanted to give Annalie the best and I didn't want the torticollis to come back so we decided to go with the helmet. Our insurance only covered some of it. We did have to pay $1,800 out of pocket. But to us that was a big investment because we didn't want Annalie to have future problems if the torticollis went away but if we didn't get the helmet there was a slight chance that the tor torticollis would come back and we weren't um, ready to face that. We just wanted her to wear the helmet as long as she had to and for her torticollis to completely go away. So she's been wearing her helmet for three weeks now and in the beginning it was a little bit difficult because she did feel it on but after I would say three days she completely had forgotten and she's so used to it that now my husband can even put it on her when she goes to sleep and she won't even feel different. Like she, sometimes she falls asleep without it. As we bathe her, she completely just knocks out and then he just goes and puts it on her and she she doesn't even notice that it's like on her or anything else. She does touch it sometimes, which is pretty cute, but I don't really think she touches it because she knows it's there. I just think she always touched her head as a baby, so she just is so used to touching it. But yes, we love it and we got a design. Someone here around like our area does them for free and actually donates it. So we were very lucky to have it. We got Hello Kitty over here and they did the pink all over. And then in the back, you could do like so many things with the helmet. You can paint it, you can get the vinyl design like we did. There's so many designs that you can do. You can also put just stickers if you guys um, don't have anyone in your area that does these incredible vinyl designs. You can also just buy stickers from AC Moore or Michaels and just stick them on there and you could probably even stick different stickers every month. I know one of my friends did that with her daughter and that's really fun because every month you can look forward to sticking new stickers. Um, the helmet does get stinky. We wash, we clean it out with rubbing alcohol and it really works to take the stink away. <laughs> also, we are going back every two weeks and they shave part of her helmet. So her flat head is on the left side so they shave the, this side of the helmet and the other side. And believe it or not, we have already seen improvement. I know I didn't expect to see improvement this early on, but her head has shifted. They will give you like a little model. I'll probably share that in the next update. You can bring it home as well. So that little model shows her head, how it was, and then we were able to compare the two heads and we already saw that her head is shifting and we already seen improvement. Um, yeah, we are very happy that we went with this decision. If you guys have any questions or any further comments, please don't hesitate to leave them down below. Annalie will be wearing her helmet for two to three months, so 
you'll be seeing her like this for a while and she has such long hair that sometimes I'm able to squeeze in a ponytail or two so yeah that's really fun thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video bye say bye dog fan baby she's a dog fan baby <laughs>